Hello everyone, this is Julia. Thank you so much for joining me on my craft room adventures. And today I'm up on the Butterfly Reflections ink block with this cute underwater birthday card. I will leave the link to the shop and the blog down below, so I do hope you'll go check it out. I started by stamping out all of my images onto Nina Solo White cardstock, and for my adorable axolotls, I'm using R02 as my darkest shade. Then I'm going in with R00 and I'm coloring both axolotls uh, for the outside and the inside exactly the same, so I'll just be showing you one of them. Then I'm blending that, then I'm going back in with the R02 because it's fairly light, but I really like the shade of it, so I'd rather add a few layers of this one than go in with like a different kind of shade. Blending that out again with the R00, then going in with R000. And finally bringing in the R quadruple zero. Adding a little bit more of the R02. And then bringing in R20 for some blush on the cheeks. And then I'm using the R quadruple zero. Uh, I also added in a little bit of the R21 and then I blended that out with R quadruple zero. For my greens, I'm using G28, G24, G21, and G20. And I use the exact same shades for all of my greens, so I just color the rest off camera. For the rocks, I'm using C7 as my darkest shade. Just adding the shading where it's basically already drawn in and a little bit at the bottom. And I'm blending that out with C5. Then going in with C3, I didn't add a lot of the two darkest shades because I wanted those rocks to be like a deep gray but not like super dark on my card. So I'm using mostly the C3 for the main color especially on the large one. I'm also using the C3 for shading on my like seashells. And then I'm blending that out with C1. And then C0. Using the some warm grays, W1 and uh, W0 and W00, and again the R02 and the R000 for the inside of this shell. I just thought the like warm grays would look good as like pearl color. Then I also wanted to have some red in my card. I also used the same combination from the axolotl and some of the accessories. I'm going in with then R24. R14 and then R11 as my highlight shade. Going back in with the R27 just to deepen it up a bit and then just blending it out with R11 and I also wanted like a teal color on my critters and also on the accessories so I'm bringing in the BG13 then going in with BG11. Adding a little bit more of the BG13 on my little seahorse and also the edge of my jellyfish. Then again with the BG11, then BG10, and finally the BG quadruple zero. For my little adorable puffer fish, I'm using uh, the YR18, just around the edges. Then I'm bringing in the YR14, and then I'm blending that out with YR12. Going in a second time, just to add a little bit more depth. 
And then over the center, I'm also adding a little bit more yellow with the Y11. I'm using YR23 for my yellow, then going in with Y13, Y11, and then the Y000. And that finishes off my coloring. I die cut all of the pieces of the uh, center picture window card. So the main panel and also like the inside panel. And I use the heart add-on die for the center picture window card to add the heart. I ink blended some antique linen at the very bottom edge and I splattered that with vintage photo. And now I'm leaving a little bit of a white gap between like my sandy sand bottom of my ocean scene. And now I'm going in with a uh, chipped sapphire. Just making sure that I don't really contaminate the area between the sand and the ocean because that would just end up with a really messy color. And then for the top I'm bringing in the peacock feathers. Just blending the colors back and forth, adding quite a bit more of the chipped sapphire. And I'm blending the inside and the outside of the card in exactly the same way and also using the same combination on the heart die cut or the like heart center opening. I'm just wiping off my brush a little bit because I had quite a bit of the chipped sapphire on there so that the top wouldn't be too dark. Again with the peacock feathers. I just masked off the what will be the back side of my center picture window card so that I could write a note there. And now I'm using Lawn Fawn Yeti ink and a Sunray st stencil by My Favorite Things. And I'm just adding some sun rays or like yeah light rays on my ocean i'm just buffing off a little bit of the excess i actually accidentally dragged a little bit of the blue down so i'm adding a bit more of the antique linen making sure i don't do this on this panel <laughs> and i'm doing the same thing for the center of my card since it doesn't reach all the way, I just made sure to not blend down too far. And now I'm also going in with the same blend on the like center picture card of the center picture window card. Just lining the panels up occasionally to make sure that the height and the intensity matches. And just going back and forth until it looks seamless. Then I just added some water, sprayed it, and used a paper towel to, to soak up the excess water so that it would give the effect of splatters. I didn't really have matching cardstock colors for the card that I was making, so I just uh, die cut the wavy banner and uh, colored it with the deep red shades that I used on the other elements of the card, and now I'm just heat embossing that in white. The sentiment is from the stamp set Seahorsing Around. And it just says, I see it's your birthday, which is so fun. Then I'm using the banner that comes with a center picture window die set. And from the Manatee Rific stamp set, I'm using Shalobrate. I just love punny sentiments, can you tell? I think it's just so fun. So I, I just use a brush to brush off any excess embossing, embossing, embossing powder. And then I also stamped out, of course, the Aladdle so that my sentiment on the outside will read, I see it's your birthday, and then you open it up and it says, celebrate, and in parentheses, a laddle, which I just, that just cracks me up. Oh, that is just so funny. So just melting the embossing powder and now I'm using a baby wipe just quickly over it to remove any of the like anti-static powder that was left over. I just played, played around with the placement of my images, then I added the banner down first so that I would have a guide how high up I needed to add the cute axolotl. Then I'm adding some of the like seaweed to the rock, adding that in front of my axolotl, and then adding two more pieces of like seaweed. 
and that finishes the front of my card. Now I'm just folding, carefully folding the card base where the die created the score line. And I'm using my bone folder to reinforce that score line. And I'm also folding the center heart die cut along the score line. So it has one in the center and two outside flaps. And if I were to do this kind of a card again, which I hope I will soon, I would also ink blend the back side. Just even if it's just a dark, if it would be dark blue, it wouldn't just stand out as much if you look a little bit from the side. So I just lined up the center score line, removed the liner paper and just pressed down on the right side. That attaches the panel on the right. I die cut the two handle panels that come with the center picture window die and I just added some chipped sapphire on those. I fold along the score lines, line it up with the center fold line, remove the liner paper and just pressed it down on the right side. Repeating the same same step for the like taller hill and I'm also adding this one a little bit higher up than the last one just to create more dimension in the back. Again removing the liner paper, lining it up with the center score line and pressing the adhesive down. Then I'm folding all of the elements in half and removing the liner paper just along the center score line. Doing the same thing for the window. And then I'm just folding the card shut into the adhesive and that creates your beautiful center heart window, which I just think is so pretty and so fun. And there you can already see like the white showing. I didn't like that as much, but at this point there was nothing I could do. I added the banner and I just cut this one down just to the bare minimum that it needed to have for the sentiment because I didn't want to cover up the pretty heart. And I'm just adding my axolotl because of course he's the star of the show. And then I'm adding all of my other elements. I just, you know, I added quite a few of them. I just used like a group of fish in the back, adding some seaweed and I did want to use the like other like group of fish. I'm pretty sure there's a name for that, but I really don't know it. So <laughs> just adding the other elements. I didn't have room for like the yellow group of fish. So I just skipped that one. Adding lots of little shells because it says shallow braid. So you have to have a lot of shells, right? Now I'm just playing around with the placement with all of the other elements. I'm adding everything down flat with liquid glue. And for the axolotl, I just added him down and made sure that I shut the card and made sure that none of the element were showing like on the edge of the card. So I had to move him up a little bit. I couldn't place him like at the center of the heart, but this was fine as well. Adding all of my little seaweeds just along the bottom edge. Just combining them with some of the rocks just to basically fill up my scene. Also adding like the presents of the shell presents which are just so cute. These are actually from a Christmas uh, stamp set, the Christmas fishes, but those can also be birthday presents so I think that's super cute. Then the adorable little jellyfish. Just added him behind the seaweed. A little seahorse. Then just adding the other little fish behind the like present. Probably he's peeking the cheeky little monkey. Also adding my favorite little puffer fish. He's just so cute. And I'm just sprinkling around some of the other images like the little fish and more of the seashells of course. And I also added like the big shell with a like pearl in the middle 
just in the back there. I just wanted to make sure that it's visible when you see like the axle wall, it's like behind there and right in the back of the shallow braid. So I thought that would be fun. Then also adding in the remainder of all of the seashells in the different colors, making sure that, you know, I alternate between all of the colors. Really just adding them all over to add more accents. And I also wanted to add those cute hearts that are from one of the other under the sea stamp sets. I will list below which ones I used. So I just adhered those next to the adorable little axolotl. Because those that is just so fun that he would be like having the little heart bubbles. And then I'm adding my favorite part, the alatl. I just, oh, punny sentiments just are the best thing ever. Then I'm adding lots and lots of Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen on all of my images. Well, not all of them, but you know, if you know me, it's most of them. And that finishes off my super cute, tiny, tiny birthday card. These cards are tiny, but they pack a punch. It's just so fun. It's such a fun effect. And oh my god, that axolotl is just so adorable. And oh my god, every time I read the Celebrate Alotl, it just cracks me up. I love it. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for joining me and spending this time with me today. I really do hope that you'll give the center picture window cards a try. I had so much fun making this. I will be back soon with a new crafty video. I will link to the Butterfly Reflections ink block and the shop down below. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye!